Hi friends, happy Thursday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. The day has finally come. My iPhone 12 Pro Max has finally came. I ordered this last week, but because it was on back order and everything, it finally came like two days ago. So I'm really excited. Today I will be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro Max and some accessories I bought for here. Oh, and they like taped it to like the box. So let's cut this open. Here it is, you guys. By the way, I'm naming my phone Drew. I don't know why that name sticks out to me, but it just does. So this is Drew. He's a blue iPhone 12 Pro Max and the 256 gig. It's so pretty oh my gosh this is so pretty i don't know about you guys but i collect like all my iphone boxes and just leave them in my drawer i don't know why but i think it's such a waste to just throw it away because you pay so much for it and it's just so pretty so i have to keep all of them this will be added into my collection wow you guys drew is such a beauty look at him look at this glistening take him out so and then i'll show you guys what comes in the box as well so you have your usb-c cable charger and you have your little booklet that comes with every phone and there should be the sticker inside so there's a sticker inside i really don't know what to do with stickers i just collect them so it's just going to add to my collection and the box is really thin as you've seen in like the previews um when they were releasing info about the iphone so the box is really thin because they think that you don't need the brick anymore which is kind of sad because like i don't have the usb-c brick and i bought the magsafe charger also and it doesn't come with the brick so i didn't really think this through so i don't know how i'm going to charge my phone so i guess i have to go and get the brick to charge my phone. Some features that I noticed about the iPhone 12 Pro Max that's different from the iPhone 11 Pro is that the cameras um, on the back are a lot bigger and the corners of the phone is more like curved to look like the iPhone 4 is what I believe when I read updates about the new Pro Max and the size they're like very shiny as you guys can see and it's easier to get fingerprints on it compared to the iphone 11 pro even though the sides is easy to get fingerprints on it the back it's not as easy to get fingerprints on it which i really like i'm going to be putting on a screen protector and a phone case so it's not as easy for me to get fingerprints on it let's go ahead and turn on this phone and i'll be showing you guys how i'm going to set it up where's the down oh okay so turning on So I can try to set up my current phone with my new phone. So that was fast. So in order to activate your phone, if you want to use the same phone number that you've been using, you just confirm and press next. But if not, you just contact your service provider. Um, mine's Verizon. So you just contact them if you want to change your phone number. I'm going to be keeping the same phone number. So I just have to confirm that. And then it says it should take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. When I figure out why my iPhone isn't activating and getting it transferred and everything, I will show you guys the camera quality between the iPhone 11 Pro that I have right now and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Minor technical difficulties but I have other accessories to unbox for you guys so first I have the MagSafe charger. This I believe sticks to the back of your iPhone and it charges so it's easier for you to not have to plug it in all the time because I hear a lot of people say that when you plug it in to charge it like ruins the quality of the hole that you're plugging it into. That has personally never happened to me, but I thought I would try the MagSafe charger. So here is the MagSafe charger. Fancy, look at this. It looks like those, the stethoscope that doctors use. That's so cool. So this is what it looks like. And I believe it sticks to the back whoa that's so cool and then you just have to plug it in and then you can just use your phone whenever and it'll still charge i have my two screen protectors this one i got off of velvet caviar it's this really cute website with the most cutest and protective phone cases their phone cases tend to be slippery but it protects your phone like really well like 
Anytime I drop it, it never like cracks or breaks. And I also have the screen protector and it helps me. This is the first time I actually bought a screen protector from Velvet Caviar. What I think is cool about this screen protector is it's a privacy screen protector. So let's say I'm holding my phone like this, like people on the side won't be able to see like what's on your phone, especially with the Pro Max, it's huge. So like everyone will see like what's on your phone. And then next I have just the regular screen protector that you get off of Amazon. I will be installing my screen protector onto my iPhone. As you can see, I didn't do a really good job of putting on my screen protector. I don't know why, but the guide stickers is supposed to stick better when you put it on your glass screen protector to put on your phone, but just kept on falling off. So now there are like air bubbles like in the corner of like my phone, if you can see. And then I tried to like push them out, but it's just really difficult to push them out because usually the screen protectors come with like this guitar pick that you can use to like take out your air bubbles but this one didn't come with it. For the screen protector when I put it on you can see that it got a lot darker just because it's the privacy screen protector. I think I'll switch it to my Amazon screen protector just because I like that clear like bright screen instead of the dark screen. I don't know if I would recommend the screen protector. I would stick with my Amazon one. Next I have three phone cases that I wanted to show you guys. So first my best friend got me this one. It's so cool. It comes with this like ring light so you just press on the bottom of the phone case and it lights up and then they have the ring light and then it just goes back to normal so I thought that was so cool this is the Lumi brand next I have two boba phone cases I'm so excited for these also I'm excited for all three of them I can't choose which one to use first this phone case I got off of Amazon is this light blue boba case menu it has all the different flavors of milk tea so i think that's so cool next i got this of velvet caviar it's a matcha milk tea case even though it says matcha the bobas on this phone case aren't all matcha which i like because i'm not really a fan of matcha my favorite is strawberry honeydew or original so they have honeydew and they have original so that's why i got this one this one is a clear phone case so i think i'm going to use this first i will unbox it for you guys Here is my new iPhone case and iPhone and screen protector. This case is actually pretty sturdy like and it's not slippery like my past velvet caviar phone cases. So here is my new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm so excited. It's such a big upgrade from the iPhone 11 Pro just because of the sizing. This is the sizing of both of them next to each other. It's a little bit bigger but it's not as big as I thought it would be. Like I thought it would be like so gigantic that I couldn't fit it in my pocket but this one's pretty doable like it's not like too big the camera for the iphone 12 pro max is a lot bigger than the iphone 11 pro and there's this thing right here i think that's for your wide angle camera i'm not too sure or that lidar thing that they were talking about i don't remember what it's called this is all i have for my iphone 12 pro max unboxing i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys at my next video yeah.